for data. Romania only recycles 14 percent of collected waste, and despite having joined the European Union 14 years ago, still hasn't been able to solve the situation of landfill sites where waste is dumped indiscriminately. In Bucharest, for example, where selective waste collection has not been encouraged, residents with civic spirits who do care about the environment have to travel large distances to discard their This is uh, Radio Romania, 7310, on the ICOM ICR 8500. Sectors. On paper, only 20% of the total waste originates out of the population should end up in landfill sites, the remaining 80% being made up in equal proportion of the tiny recycling. And now on the Yesu FT450. And the fire by radical waste. Unfortunately, Romania is a champion of all kinds of food waste, throwing away 24% of food, 22% of food. 21% of vegetables and 20% of bread. Mm-hmm. Representatives of the environment ministry, the Bucharest City Hall, and officials from the city's six chapels led us to witness how the management of waste collection. After the meeting, the Bucharest mayor, Nico Jordan, said the local authorities in Bucharest have a similar vision with respect to waste management, agreeing that waste needs to be collected selectively. He also claimed that Bucharest is lagging behind in terms of dealing with the issue of waste management, and that a new strategy and actual plan will be created to address the problem. As well as an inter-community development association, the latter will oversee the implementation of Bucharest and now on the Texan PL 990X. Let's go back to the ICOM SCRD 500. Uh, 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 broadcast in English for listeners in Western Europe and North America, the East Coast has come to an end. We can listen to our next program for Western Europe at 23 hours UTC on 7220 kilohertz in analog system and on 6040 kilohertz in DRM system. Our listeners in North America, the East Coast, can listen to us at 1 hour UTC on 6130 kilohertz and 7325 kilohertz. We can also be heard on the internet at www.rri.ro channel 1. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write an email at engl at rri.ro. And bye. Uh, the FT450. twice but uh, you know once again my personal observation is that uh, the ICOM ICR 8500 is pretty good uh, the FT450 is not bad but I find that the audio is kind of uh, missing on some frequency response I need to play around with those filters and I need to play around with the DSP settings because obviously for the audio it could probably be better than that and it is on an outboard speaker by the way it's on a realistic speaker and of course, uh, the uh, Texan PL990X, I think it pulls its weight. And I think it can uh, be proud against these two big gun receivers. And we'll have a few more testing videos like that for the rest uh, of the day today. I'm going to try different signals, single sideband, stuff like that. I'm going to check how good they are and how well all three radios are going to be testing. And I'll be 
testing those big gun receivers also with other portables, including the Texan PL330 and uh, the C-Crane, the XH Data. We'll be able to compare how well all these portables work against big gun receivers. Uh, they are on the same antenna, the uh, MLA30 for the uh, 8500. W6LVP for the Yesu and the uh, Texan. So uh, they're kind of similar antennas for a similar uh, type of uh, performance. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.